Wait, where is this going? I just realized it's gonna hit our uranium deposit over here. So... Probably should do something about that. Come on. Are you going to come through here? Yes, you are. So... Put the flame towers over here. Danger! Hostile creatures are approaching our base. Okay. Ready for battle. Um. Yeah, you're all going to approach from here. Oh, what the hell? Why are you here? But you're gonna come through here? No, you're not. So, why don't I just add some artillery? I'm not even shooting over the wall here. Actually, you're fine right now, so let's go over here. And you're fine. Okay, so we held that pretty easily. Level 3 is pretty much do that. Let's collect all the goodies here. Alright, I do want to like, go out here, collect all the goodies here. Now, should I get a little more extra storage? Oh, this is really expensive in Cobalt, so I probably should just stick with the level 2s. I didn't realize that. All right. Just continue building this here. Okay, so that should do it. Don't necessarily need the... Uh, chromium or... Chromium? What the hell? Carbonium. Our base is low on power. No, it's not. So, let's just... There's an intense aurora in the sky. Prepare for an ion storm. It's going to disable a lot of equipment. Let me just do this first. Base is under attack. The ion storm is disabling our equipment. All right, so we should be generating enough power and storing enough power here to run all of the synthesizers like all the time. I need to get back to base. How do I get back there?
Ah, uh, let me in. Everything is getting back to normal. Thankfully, this didn't last long. Okay, so what I want to do is, since we use a lot of carbonium, I just focus on getting lots and lots of carbonium, which means this stuff right here. So, all of our uranium ore is pretty much being processed all the time. Now, did we have another deposit? I don't see one. So, I think at this point, we can leave. Probably should uh, get some, some more of these. Just as a backup. Because I don't want to come back here and realize I don't have more AI cores. I don't even have repair towers here? What? Oh, well, anyway, I think we're done here. We pretty much have enough power to uh to handle this 24 7 so let's go back i'm gonna go back to hq because we're done here oh so i can't double click that space management inside your base is critical and i didn't get to read that well, you know what I've been doing. Pretty much using lots and lots of low level stuff. Actually, I've been using max level solar panels and wind generators at this point in time because they're pretty cheap for the economy that I have right now. It does take a long time to load this though. All right, so could we upgrade this? Yes, we can. The storm is over. It's so quiet all of a sudden. What storm? This will attract a lot of attention. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. And did I upgrade these? Oh yeah, these are level twos. These are level twos. Okay, so I can't get another communication hub just yet. And it's hitting from the west, so now that we have uranium, I can upgrade all of my uh, artillery now. We can even upgrade our walls. So, why not? And actually, shouldn't I like increase the size of this now? Oh, did we upgrade this? Okay, at this point in time, I do need, like... Let's increase the defense here. Okay, you should be able to handle this now. Let's check this out here. My sensors are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. Okay, we're ready for them. 
Okay, this is probably weak over here. So we will engage him. I feel like I should do some tr pruning over here. Wait, you guys are on this planet? Or this part of the... You're in this biome? That's what I'm trying to say. Base is under attack. Oh no. Okay, I think we're good. This will buy some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. Oh ho ho. Yeah, let's check what's new. We can't upgrade anymore, it looks like. We can upgrade this. We can upgrade this. And we still have our building limits. Now I do want to check this though. Ammo storage. Oh, speaking of ammo storage, uh, could we upgrade it to like level two or something? Like I haven't been doing that. It's all just been level ones, but at this point, actually, yeah, the upgrade cost is just carbonium, which we have plenty of. I was thinking of the ammo factories here. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. And what did our ammo factories require for level 2? It was uranium. Uh, I don't really need to use those. So let's just make a whole bunch of tier 1s. There we go. Now, what did I research at this point? Okay, we got our weapons here. Continue researching this. Oh, we got alien research level 3 going. Okay, so... Oh, we have this area over here. I think we can, like, upgrade all of these. Uh, this area is fine. This, we can sell these. Might as well clear them out. Just so we know we've dealt with them. And we didn't have a portal over here. Oh, now the power's disconnected. Why don't I just upgrade all of these? Then we'll increase our storage as well.
I guess I'll increase it in this side. Oh. Alright, so what was I doing? Use your orbital scanner to access planetary missions. So pretty much done everything we could do in headquarters. Okay, so we're working on the rift station at this point, but... Oh, we also have these areas as well. Acidic Plains Reconnaissance. Hmm. Or Volcanic Area. We do need the fur tonight. So we'll do this first. So we should have maxed out our armories and our research. So, we'll just let that happen. Okay, we're entering a new biome. This is volcanic. Come to think of it, I don't think I've actually played this in survival. So, this will be new for me. Okay, let's see what's happening in here. And I don't like the energy readings on the top or bottom uh, corner there. Oh, well, great. In the middle of an active volcanic area. We expected high temperatures, but not this high. The measurements from the orbital scanner were different. Something's off. We won't survive here for long. Ashley, I'm detecting multiple temperature anomalies close to our position. It looks like my sensors are broken. The temperature suddenly drops in these areas by hundreds of degrees. We received some anomalous readings from the orbital scanner. This might be it. We oh, have to investigate that. what the hell? Uh-oh. So I can't even build here? Is there like a special thing that I can use? Well, that's not going to work. Search area for temperature anomalies. So I can't even build here until I research something. Oh, I guess you're resistant to fire. Guess this is gonna be have to be the grenade launcher here. Search the area for temperature anomalies. This growth formation is very peculiar. It's a crystal entwined in very strong vines. It oh, looks geez. Like this life form actually cultivates this crystal. This crystal contains a rare mineral called Ferdinite. It can be used for gravitational field manipulation when combined with a powerful magnetic field. It doesn't exist on Earth. The magnetic field in this biome is acting completely strange. Press very middle to, to use bioscanner. We should definitely research these crystals further. This will allow us to gather more Ferdinite and create new equipment. This is amazing. These plants are unlike anything I've ever seen before. The temperature... Ferdinite handling, huh? So, where are you? Uh, let's put you down here. Through let's finish this alien research. Temperature of water. Ashley, moving closer to this plant, we can study it from up close and cool off in its aura. The chemical compounds that are secreted by these plants react with the volcanic gases that are present here. This reaction sucks enormous amounts of energy from the space around it, resulting in very rapid cooling of its surroundings. It's an astonishing survival mechanism. We can use this effect to our advantage. The space around these plants is safe for us, so we can use it to regenerate while moving around this biome. We should try to replicate this effect. We have to gather enough samples of this plant to research it in our lab. We can do that by cutting them down or by using the bioscanner. 
How about we do both? We'll scan it first and then... It is much more effective than gathering usable samples. And it will not destroy our safety zones. You can craft it in the armory if you haven't done that already. I'm sorry, what? I missed that part. I was busy shooting stuff. Oh, let's just scan these things. Or maybe I shouldn't blow them up because they're creating these frozen zones. Scanning, don't you know? All right, let's go push up here. We've gathered enough samples to study these cryo plants in our alien research laboratory. Research completed. Okay, so cryo station. We need titanium for this. All right. Well, let's research this first. Maybe there's titanium in this area. Replicate this effect, then we should be able to move freely around this biome. All right. So let's just get out of here. In the rift now. You received nothing. Well. So let's go back to HQ. Let's continue improving the base around there. Uh, I think we can get one of the parts now that we have sufficient amounts of uranium. Uh, for the rift station that is. But I probably should make sure we have enough power to generate everything. Well, I'm thinking of taking some more territories so that we can put down, like, more wind turbines. Maybe add some solar there in the mix as well. Yeah, all of these are level 5. Oh yeah, and I can also... Or, no, I can't. Takes a lot of 10... The night. You gather a lot of these things. Now I was thinking I could get tens of night from these purple things. We have finished researching for night handling. The results are amazing. This mineral will allow us to craft entirely new equipment and weapons of extreme quality. The only problem is that we need to find more of this resource. Mr. Riggs, can you search for large condensations of the entwined Ferdinite crystals using the orbital scanner? Roger that, Ashley. I have located a potentially Ferdinite rich location. The rich jump coordinates are marked on the orbital scanner interface. Oh, really? Well, why don't we go there instead? Well, let me do this first. The efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. It's a powerful nuclear fusion field that accelerates blah 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 blah. Well, let's just get this out of the way first. Accelerator construction in progress. This is going to take some time. Let's focus on other tasks. So, we still need to get palladium and titanium. Yeah, let's get some other tasks here. But we do have some tanzanite in this biome. Ferdinite. Uh, we can't get that yet. Because it's a volcanic area. We can't build there. So... We'll go here. 
Gonna collect some tanzanite. So we are slowly making progress in the game. We got one of the rift station things. We just need to do mass up the other two resources. Now, is it just me, but I get the feeling that this is going to be a very short campaign. It's like I'm already up to this point, if you think about it. This area is very rich in tanzanite. My scans have indicated two especially large condensations nearby. I have marked their locations on our mini-map. Interesting. We've actually found an oasis in this desert. It looks like one of those condensations is around a pool of liquid. We have to see this. Yes, that is art indeed. The second location appears to be a bit more standard. It is a large tanzanite deposit hidden underground. It is spread out in a larger radius. Okay, we'll analyze it with the geoscanner as soon as we get there. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't have that. If I can familiarize my resource extraction AI subroutines with this species, we can gather research specimens very effectively with the bio. Scan. Where would it be? Oh, there's the cryo station. So we can now uh, go to the volcano areas. Let me check this. Research completed. Environmental shielding, super coolant refinery. Okay, so I'm thinking the volcano areas have titanium. Okay, let's push upwards. So it should be here. Oh, I need to gather the purple cacti specimens. Ashley, there's a lot of tanzanite in this area. Uh, you look purple enough. Is so low that I will not be able to excavate it with my equipment. These cacti clearly like to grow in this place. They condense the tanzanite from the soil during the growth process. Unfortunately, these worms are too small to harvest any meaningful quantities of the resource. 